वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द अटॉर्नी जनरल सो अटॉर्नी जनरल इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पोस्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉलिटी सो दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम योर जी एस पेपर टू पॉलिटी परस्पेक्टिव इन फैक्ट फॉर योर प्रलम्स ऑल्सो अटॉर्नी जनरल इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पोस्ट दैट यू शुड नो अबाउट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो वॉट इज द रिसेंट कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द अटॉर्नी जनरल सो द अटॉर्नी जनरल के के वेणुगोपाल हैज गिवन हिज कंसेंट टू अ लॉ स्टूडेंट टू इनिशिएट कंटेम्प्ट ऑफ कोर्ट प्रोसीडिंग्स अगेंस्ट आर्टिस्ट रचिता तनेजा फॉर हर ट्वीट्स एंड कार्टून सो दिस इज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट तो बेसिकली के के वेणुगोपाल हैज नाउ गिवन अ कंसेंट टू फाइलिंग द कंटेम्प्ट ऑफ कोर्ट when gopa said that the tweets and the cartoons accompanied them were intended to denigrate the supreme court and lower its authority in the eyes of the public so this is the case the contempt of court which was uh, highlighted by the law student and uh, recently attorney general kk venu gopal has given his consent so let's try to understand what this case of prior consent is all about so what is this prior approval for contempt of court cases so there is a concept under the contempt of court act 1971 which says that the prior consent in writing of the attorney general is required for the supreme court to initiate criminal contempt action in a case according to the contempt of court act of 1971 so this acts kind of provide a power to attorney general and have give him the right that he has to in written give a prior consent before starting of the contempt of court this is a contentious topic and if you remember earlier when the contempt of court was in news because of the power utilized by supreme court there was lot of like the contempt of court is given in the constitution itself and supreme court has the power directly to go for it but on the other hand the act also gave the power to the attorney general to start the contempt of court in writing so the agi consent in a form of check on much debated saw moto power of the criminal contempt so it's more along the line can the supreme court uh, start the proceeding against its own contempt so saw moto power of criminal contempt is something which has been in debate for quite some time now so just remember for you to pick up from over here is that under the contempt of court act of 1971 the attorney general is required to give a prior consent in uh, writing before starting of a criminal contempt action so this is something you need to remember now let's just move forward and try to understand about the attorney general so this is an important post try to understand from a quality perspective So the Attorney General for India is the central government's chief legal adviser and its primary lawyer in the Supreme Court of India. So you must be knowing that Supreme Court has exclusive as well as original jurisdiction for the cases uh, between centre and state and between state and centre and so on. So for all those cases when the centre is party, uh, it is represented by the Attorney General. So. he is the primary lawyer who will represent the government in the supreme court he is part of the union executive so who are all part of union executive so we have the uh, prime minister council of minister president and the also the attorney general so these all form the part of the union executive he is appointed by the president of the india under article 761 so the uh, post of attorney general is mentioned in the constitution and he is uh, appointed by the president of india under the article 761 and holds the office during the pleasure of the president which means he does not have security of tenure no security of tenure but it is on the pleasure of president so it means like his job is actually according to the pleasure of the president what are the qualification or like who all can become the attorney general so he must be a person qualified to be appointed as a judge of supreme court so this is the criteria if a person if he is qualified to become a judge of a supreme court he could also be qualified to become an attorney general which essentially mean he should be an indian citizen he must either have completed 5 years in high court of any indian state as a judge 
or 10 years in high court as an advocate. So this is the criteria like when you want to get selected as a judge of Supreme Court, you have to be an Indian citizen. You must have either completed the practices of five years in high court in like uh, as a judge or 10 years as an advocate. Or he may be an eminent jurist too in the eye of the president. If in the eye of the president he considered that person as an eminent jurist, then he is he or she is also eligible to be becoming a judge of a Supreme Court and by that uh, concept he or she is also eligible to become an Attorney General. So these are the basic uh, criteria because of which an Attorney General is appointed. Now what are the power and functions of Attorney General? So Attorney General is necessary for giving advice to the government of India in legal matters referred to him. So this is something why the legal advisor is needed because government uh, do a lot of uh, agreements. Uh, it goes into various uh, provisions and scheme for that regard. It is important that a government of India have a legal advisor and that function is carried on by the Attorney General of India. He also performs the other legal duties assigned to him by the president. So if the president assigned him some other legal duty, he has to perform that also. The attorney general has the right of audience in all courts in India as well as the right to participate in the proceedings of the parliament which means he can actually go ahead and sit in the parliament when the parliament is in session but he has no right to vote. So even though he could be present and he could uh, take a record of what is dis being discussed in the parliament, he is not eligible to vote. Similarly, he has the right to audience in all courts of India, like not only in Supreme Court, in High Court, even in Lower Court, he has the right to audience. He can go and sit and check on the proceedings. So this is the power of uh, Attorney General. He represents the government of India in any reference made by the President to the Supreme Court under Article 143 of the Constitution. So Article 143 of Indian Constitution gives the right to President to ask uh, Supreme Court for advice regarding any law. So such kind of uh, when power is utilized by the president then uh, at that time the attorney general represent the government of India. The attorney general can accept briefs but cannot appear against the government which means he is not debarred from private cases from taking private cases not debarred he can take some private cases as well but the criteria is it should not be against the government so he cannot take a case which is against the government he cannot defend an accused in the criminal proceeding and accept the dictatorship of a company without the permission of a government. So, until or unless government specifically allow the attorney general, he cannot defend an accused in a criminal proceeding and accept the dictatorship of a company. So, these things are debarred for the attorney general. So, I hope you have understood this. This video this is your cue go back to your Lakshmi Khan revise the chapter there is a specific chapter on attorney general look at the qualification we just discussed over here look at his tenure we know that nothing is defined which articles talk about the attorney general it is article 76 he is part of a union executive does he has the right to sit in the parliamentary proceeding so yes he has the right but he cannot vote so all these things are mentioned over there and you can check Apart from the Attorney General, there are also Solicitor General who kind of aid and uh, help the Attorney General to take care of the cases because we know that there are number of cases, the sheer amount of cases in which the government of India as a party is very huge so because of it there is an, a Solicitor General and even four uh, additional Solicitor General is also there to aid and help the Attorney General. So these are the major details that you need to know about Attorney General. So I hope you have understood this video. If you have any doubt, feel free to drop a comment. Thank you.